These new one-click Google AI agents are absolutely insane. And what I'm going to show you today is exactly how to use these Google AI agents. And you can actually get a free AI API key directly inside Google Gemini. I'll show you how to set up that in a second. But essentially, these AI agents can integrate with MCP servers. They can install GitHub for you. They can create whole websites like you can see right here. So what we actually did is we actually linked this client Google AI agent directly to an MCP server with Plexity. And then we use that to go off and build a website like you can see right here. Okay. Now, if you want to set this up with Google, then you would just make sure you have Google Gemini set up with your API key. And you want to make sure that you have Visual Studio Code set up. Right, so make sure you have Visual Studio Code set up. It's quite easy to get access to. Just go to visualstudio.co.com, download this. Then once you've done that, you're going to go over to extensions. Make sure you have Client installed. All right, so go to Client, install that. And then once you've done this, you're going to go over to Client, in your settings, set up an AI Studio key. Now, if you're not sure how to do that, let me show you exactly how to set this up pretty easily. So you're just going to go to aistudio.google.com, grab an API key, copy your API key, and then plug it directly into the settings right here. Now, once you've done that, you'll see a bunch of different APIs you can use. I'm gonna stick with the default, which is Gemini 2.0. And then from here, we can start building stuff out, right? So for example, if we use this AI agent, we say, okay, check perplexity and ask it what happened in the AI news today. And when you use this AI agent, literally in one single click and it's completely free to use we're going to now connect it to the perplexity research mcp server so you can see that connected right there and i'll show you how to set up mcp servers in a minute because that is all the rage right now peeps i know everyone wants access to mcps so we're going to wait for that to load and you can see that it's actually figured out okay what is the question to ask perplexity and then we've got the response back from perplexity right here and essentially we asked, okay, what happened in AI news today? It's come back with the responses, right? And what you'll see here as well is like, you'll get a AI output. So this is the direct response from AI, right? So if we open this up, this is the direct response from AI explaining what happened, but it's very messy. It's a little bit confusing and it's all written in Markdown, right? So it's great for AI, but it's not great for a human. So if we keep scrolling down here, the AI agent has also broken it down using Klein into a nicely formatted section, right? So it's given us all these different examples of what happened in AI today using the Plexi MCP server. And then if we say, for example, okay, create a nice landing page about this. And again, this doesn't cost us anything to use Google, right? Because we're using the free API. So it's not costing us anything. Now it's going to start going off and coding that page based on the information we got from the MCP server. So it's pretty simple and easy to use. And it's a lot more autonomous than going directly inside Gemini or something like that, right? Now, the cool thing about this as well is that Google Gemini 2.0 Flash actually has vision and computer use, right? So you can see here how it's scrolling through the page we've just created, navigating through the files and using the browser. And again, this doesn't cost us anything. So really powerful stuff there. It's creating that landing page based on the MCP server and what we've done. You can see the browse action. So it says close browser. And what's quite weird and scary about this is the AI agent from Google says, now I can see the complete footer with social media links, right? So it's actually talking in first person like a human. It's I can see this. This is what's happening. This is what we're doing. And here's what I've done for you. And if we break down the task, bear in mind, we only really gave it one prompt. Plexi MCP servers create a beautiful AI news landing page, incorporate all the elements, and then we can actually open the HTML here. So if we click on run command, we've got the landing page right here, ready to go. It's broken down all the headlines like you can see. And then it's even included like a nicely designed landing page with a CTA to our funnels, to funnel traffic, right? And so this was all done in one click, completely for free with the API from Google, and it was super powerful and easy to do. So let me break down exactly how to connect this Google AI agent to MCP service. So if you want to do that, you just navigate to Klein. And then inside Klein, 
you're going to select these blocks over here. Then you're going to select whatever MCP you want to link this to. So it could be, for example, like browser tools. It could be email sender, right? So you can actually send emails with the AI agent inside client. And you could also link it to Airtable, whatever you want, right? Now, the cool thing about using MCP servers is that you don't have to click and drag and set up multiple different automations and configure them all. You just install the server and then the AI interacts with the server, right? So for example, you could link this to a, a Stripe MCP server and then call Stripe APIs for customer management or payment process, product creation, etc. The one that I'm using in this example is Perplexity. And you can just click on install when you're ready to go. And that MCP server will install from GitHub, like you can see using the AI agent. So that's one of the best ways to use these Google APIs. Really easy and powerful to do, like you can see. Doesn't take a long time. And you can connect this to whatever you want. The other option is that if you go to settings over here inside client, we can click on the drop down API provider and actually switch to, let's have a look here. We can switch to open router. So if we click on open router over here and then we'll type in free, we've got all these different Google APIs, including Google Gemma. Now Gemma is the latest edition from Google just came out last week. And again, that is free. So you can see Google Gemma 3, 1B, Google Gemma 3, 4B, et cetera. That is really easy to set up. The other option that you have is you can select Olama. And then if you install Olama locally like this, and then we type in Gemma here, which is the latest released from Google, we can download Gemma, we can install that, and then we can configure those settings inside the settings of client, right? So there's loads of different ways to install Google and use it for free inside Gemma. The other option is that we can go over to NA10. So with NA10, you can actually create AI agents that are like one click as well. So here's an example, all right? So if we go inside Open Router, we can select Gemma, for example, or we can, let's have a look down the list, see what we got here. We could use Gemini. Let's see. So we could, for example, use like Gemini Pro Experimental or Gemini Flash. 2.0 flash. Again, that's a free API. That's connected to my Gmail as a tool. So if you want to add a tool, you just click on that and then select Gmail and this can send emails for you, right? And again, this is completely free. Actually, NA10 is free if you host it locally and then using Open Router and the free APIs from Open Router, you can also use this API for free as well, right? And then we can use this as like an email assistant or that sort of thing in one single click. So if we scroll down here and click on Open Chat, and then we'll say, okay, draft an email to Jack at juliangoldie.com, telling him one click Google AI agents are amazing. We'll plug that in. That's going to work. Node executed perfectly. We're good to go. It says, what's the subject line? Subject line equals AI agents. And we've drafted that. Right? So you can see here how it says, Inside NA10, okay, I've drafted an email to Jack at JulianGoldie.com. Here's a message, blah, blah, blah. All right. Now, if we go over to my emails and we go over to the drafts, open that up. This is the example right here, right? Drafted, nicely, ready to go. And so if you want to use this process, you can actually get the AI to figure out the subject line, the message, who you're going to send it to as well. So we can add an option here and we'll select the two email. And then we'll select AI to define it. And then we'll put the same thing here. Go back to Gmail, drafts, and there we go, right? And it's got the subject line filled in with the message and the email address. And so you can easily create these AI agents. They don't have to automate just your emails. Like you can see all the different prompts and APIs and different tools that you can link this to. You can link it to MCPs as well if you host NA10 locally or if you host it on Alessio as well. And then you can see, for example, we've got like Airtable, Asana that we could link it to. We could link it to Google Drive, whatever you want. But the main thing here is like you can create these one-click AI agents. They're super simple and easy to set up and you can use this process nice and easy, all right? That's essentially how this works. Simple, step-by-step. -step. You know how to set this up inside Klein with Visual Studio Code. You know how to link it to MCP servers. You know how to create Google agents with Open Router as well and also inside NA10 
to create these agents. Now, if you wanted to create this workflow, for example, from scratch, then all you're going to do, let me delete all this, delete, delete. We'll start from scratch. I'll show you how easy this is to set up like an email agent in a few clicks. So we'll start the stopwatch. And if you want to create like an AI agent like this, we just click on add step. We're going to add a chat trigger, like you can see. Then from here, we're going to go over to AI agent. So we'll type in AI agent. Then we're going to set up a chat model. So we'll add Google Gemini chat model, like you can see. Just going to make sure that we have this connected properly. You could also, for example, delete that and then add open router here. And we'll type in Gemini. There we go. All right. And then we're just going to connect that to a tool and we'll put Gmail. And then we want to draft stuff. We'll get the AI to figure out the subject line, get the AI to figure out the message and also figure out the two email address as well. So let's click on expression there. Inside the AI agent, we're just going to set up a system message. Your helpful assistant to draft emails. Figure everything out for me. All right. And then that should be good to go. Took us 78 seconds to set that up. And then if we go inside the chat here, open chat, let's test this out. So I'm going to clear the chat history, refresh that, type that in. And now you can see the email agent is working really nice. So took us 78 seconds to automate our emails. We go to the drafts. We've got that ready to go, right? That's the email we just created. It's 1247 there, 1247 there. So this is the email that we just created with a one-click AI agent. And it's so easy and powerful and easy to set up using Google. And again, this is free, right? You can host NA10 locally for free. You can get the free API from Google and then you're good to go. So just to recap there, we've got three different methods, Klein, Open Router, you've got NA10. And then the final method that I want to show you, this is really easy, simple to do as well, is you can go over to vectorshift.ai like you can see right here. And we have this content creator. This is actually set up with Anthropic, but I'm going to delete that. And then we're going to add a new LLM here called Google. So let's open that up. And then if we say, okay, create an AI content writer, the prompt we'll put as the input. So we're just going to type in that. There we go. And we'll change the system instructions to you write AI content. We've got the model selected here. And again, this is free. I'm not paying for this. And then inside the system instructions as well, I'm going to say, use the knowledge base from here, right? So use the knowledge base from the information down here. And then also we just want to use a memory as well. So we're going to say chat memory. Remember my chat history from here. Okay. And then we'll put output to this. And then we'll output that right here. So we'll connect those. There we go. Delete that. Good to go. And put do this. All right. So that's the prompt. We've got the chat memory, the knowledge base, etc. And then we can just deploy the changes. So this is our one click AI agent. We'll just do a test run here. So we're going to use the chat bot. Like you can see, and um, we'll say, okay, create content about SEO training. See, it's now processing the request. Bear in mind, this is dependent on what model you use, but you can see that we've created that article really quickly and easily. Right? So for example, here we've said create content about SEO training, and it's given us several different options. Let me pull this up so you can see it a bit easier. So that's the ask that we did. And then it's given us all this information back, right? Which is pretty crazy. And you can see how easy and fast it is to set up these AI agents using Google, right? And it's just one click. You just like, right, do this. And you've got the chatbot ready to go. And then you can embed it to your website. Pretty easy to set up. Like you've got the whole blog post right there. If we look at the output, it's actually 1,358 words, which is insane. And also you can use voice. So you can use voice command there. You can export this, so we click on export chatbot. And on the free plan, you can only create one at a time, but yeah, you get the point. So if we go back to our pipelines here, I'll show you an example of what we've done previously. So here's an example. And this AI agent is ready to go. 
Then if you want to see previous chatbots you've created, you're going to go over to interfaces, chatbots, open up that chatbot you created previously, like you can see right here. And we'll put, for example, SEO training inside the prompt and it will just start replying to us like you see. So if we put create content about SEO, there we go. You can also add knowledge here. So that previous example that we created, that is using the knowledge from here. If we click on edit. We've got a bunch of vector files inside here. So for example, like information about our website, who we are, etc. And then you can build these out inside the pipelines. So pretty simple and easy. If you want to build something like this. All right. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to add an input. Then we're going to add an output. All right. And then inside the middle, we're going to add an LLM like you can see. And then we also need to add the knowledge that we uploaded previously, right? So all the information about us. Then you just have to link them together. And again, this is completely free. It's on the free plan. So you can create your own chatbots for free. And essentially for the prompt, we're going to select the input node. So text for the system instructions. We can just say you're an AI content creator. And then for the knowledge, we just say use the knowledge base from this. Select the knowledge base, click on chunks. And then for the output as well, you're going to tag in the Google AI agent, like you can see, right? Select the response. And now that's all linked, ready to go, ready for you to deploy. So it's pretty insane what you can do with Google AI agents. All the stuff that I've showed you today is free, easy to use, easy to set up, doesn't take long at all. And if you want all of the SAPs for all of this stuff, feel free to get it inside the AR Profit Boardroom. Link in the comments. We'll show you how we've grown our business basically from zero to 300K a month now at this point using AI. Obviously, it requires a lot of business acumen as well. But basically, this whole community is about making more money, scaling your business, saving time with AI. It comes with all of our best automations that we're actually using inside our business, including our best AI agents and A10 templates. AICO automation, email content creation, etc. And you can also jump on the Q&A call recordings plus the crash course. And additionally, if you have any questions, you can jump on the weekly Q&As with us. And in the community, if you ever get stuck in between Q&As, you can just post in the community and ask for any questions you have, right? So feel free to get that link in the comments description. Prices are going up at the end of the month. So make sure you lock in your price before you miss out right now. And if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session, feel free to get that link in the comments description. We'll show you how we take ourselves from zero to 145,000 business this month and generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales on autopilot based on what's working for us. Link in the comments description. Feel free to get that. Appreciate you watching. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.